Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. My name is Christine and this is Everyday Yoga because every day is a good day for yoga in every body. Um, I love yoga not just for the physical benefits, but also because it helps me to um, kind of control my thoughts when I bring my focus to my breath and my body. And I hope that you experience the same kind of um, benefits that I have experienced. So that's why I'm sharing these. If you know anyone who might benefit from these practices, please share this around um, whatever platform you typically use. I'd very much appreciate, appreciate it and I really do think the world needs more yoga. That being said, let's go ahead and get down on the floor. We're going to do a mat practice today, so find a place where you can really just stretch out and luxuriate in the benefits of these movements. So today we're gonna start in a nice, comfortable seat. I like to sit on a cushion, at least for the beginning of practice, whenever I'm sitting in a cross-legged position, just to lift my hips a little bit so the knees can come down through comfortably, and you can really feel connected and grounded through the sit bones. Um, if you have the flexibility to sit flat on the mat, that's even better. You can take an easy pose, just a nice little cross-legged position here, Sukhasana. Or you can draw one heel in towards the center and stack the second heel in front and kind of on top of the first. Or you can sit in lotus or half lotus if that's in your practice. Whatever feels best in your hips just where you can feel fully connected to the ground underneath you, whatever it may be, through both sit bones. And you can rest your hands to your knees or your thighs. And let's just drop into the present moment using the breath as an anchor. So just notice the breath. Don't have to change it yet, just notice what it is. Notice how it feels as it enters your nostrils. Maybe use your mind's eye to kind of visually track the air coming into the nasal cavity and down through the throat and into the top of the lungs and down into the bottom of the lungs. And then with your mind's eye, track that path in reverse. Noticing how the air comes out as it leaves your nose. Is it warm? Is it cool? Does it tickle? Maybe just really picture your lungs here. You've got two lungs, you've got your heart, you've got the diaphragm here. In fact, I have a short little clip of an MRI video saved somewhere. I'll link it in the description down below because it's really interesting to actually see the lungs at work and how as they expand, the diaphragm drops down to allow that expansion. And as they contract and the air comes out through the lungs, the diaphragm comes up to help. So with your mind's eye, visualize those two lungs expanding with your inhale and contracting as you exhale. Maybe notice how long it takes you to inhale. Maybe you can count silently in your head. One, two, three, four. And whatever that count is, match that with the exhale. One, two, three, four. As always, close your eyes whenever you're comfortable to do so that, so, so that it's easier to bring your awareness into the body. And just keep your focus on that nice, balanced breath. Last week, we did a circle practice, standing on the mat. So this week, let's do a circle practice down low. So first we'll warm up the spine, inhaling to lift the heart into cow, tucking the chin. 
and exhaling to round back into a nice seated cat, drawing the belly button in towards the spine and really dropping the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, lifting the heart, keeping the chin gently tucked. Exhale, cat. And here's where our circles come in. We're going to inhale, cow, and as we exhale, round over through the right side body, coming back into cat, and then inhale through the left side of the body, coming forward into cow. Exhale, rounding through the right side into the back. Inhale, lifting the heart through the left side and forward. We'll just keep stirring it up here. As always, listen to your body and let these movements be as subtle or as generous feels good to you. If you really want to get into it, you can get the shoulders involved in the neck. Scraping that bowl. Thinking about if you were inside a bowl and you're trying to scrape all the sides, just like you would if you were making some brownies today. Last week we made cookies. This week maybe we're making brownies. And the next time you inhale forward, let's reverse the circles and exhale through the left side body and back and inhale up through the right side body and forward. Noticing what you feel here all along the way in the back body, in the ribs, in the hips, shoulders, shoulder blades. Just really letting it be luxurious keeping both sit bones firmly anchored down to whatever surface you're sitting on. And the next time you inhale forward, let that be the last time. Exhale all the way back into cat. And then let's inhale back to a nice tall spine here and then switch whatever position you are in in the legs so we're just going to kind of balance things out and this might be the awkward position for your legs so let that be the case let that be let yourself be okay with being a little awkward trying something a little new and outside of your comfort zone Let's go ahead and inhale the arms out to the sides. And as we do, let's make those circles with the wrists in one direction. And as you exhale, let the wrists circle in the opposite direction and float down towards the earth. Inhale, rotating the wrists up towards the sky. Exhale, reversing the circles. Letting the arms float down to the earth. And one more time, inhale, rotating wrists up to the sky. And exhale, rotating the wrists back down towards the earth here, floating the fingertips down to the sides. One more time, let's inhale, just reaching up alongside the ears, coming into this nice wide V pose here. Stay for that exhale. Inhale again, maybe rotating those pinkies in towards one another to make space in the shoulder blades. And as we exhale, let's just bring the left palm or fingertips down towards the earth and reach up and over with the right fingertips, keeping that right hip anchored down to the earth. Take a breath or two here. And then go ahead and tilt the gaze and the torso down towards the left, bringing the fingertips over to the left. And then circle both hands out in front of you and around to the right bringing the right palm or fingertips to the earth 
and lifting the left fingertips up towards the sky, anchoring down through that left sit bone now. And then let's tilt the torso towards the earth again, bringing the left fingertips towards the right and rounding through the front again. And then lifting up with that right hand. And one more time each side. Really stretching through the low back, but keeping those sit bones anchored. Taking your gaze wherever feels supportive for your neck. One more time over here to the left, and then let's inhale to come all the way back to victorious pose, and exhale, hands to heart. If you're sitting on a cushion or a block, go ahead and remove that now. We're going to come into tabletop position, pressing through the palms onto the earth with the wrists underneath the shoulders or a little bit ahead. Pressing into those fingertips so that you're not just dumping down here into the wrists, but really spreading the weight out across the palms and the fingers so that there's not too much tension on those wrists. Tops of the feet are flat on the earth, legs are parallel. Maybe find that rotation here in the shoulders, just like we did in victorious pose, so we can have space in the shoulders and the insides of the elbows are sort of facing front here. Let's inhale cow, exhale cat, inhale cow, dropping the belly, lifting the heart and the tailbone, exhale cat, rounding the back, bringing the chin all the way in towards the chest. Let's inhale cow here. And as we exhale, let's round through the right body all the way back to child's pose. And then inhale up through the left side body and back to cow, making our circles here. Exhale through right and child's. Inhale through left and cow. Exhale through right and child's. Inhale, left and cow. And then let's reverse the circles, exhaling through the left side body in child's pose and inhaling up through the right side body in child's pose. Get the whole body involved. Finding movement here, evening out these circles. And then let's come back to tabletop. Let's inhale the right leg out long. Exhale to bend the knee and lift the sole of the foot towards the sky. And then let's make some circles here in the right hip in one direction. Doesn't really matter which direction you start with because we're just gonna switch and do the other direction after. Which happens about now. Switch the direction, keeping that nice, even spread of the weight through palms and fingers here, keeping the hips facing the earth, nice and square to the mat. And then inhale the right leg out long and exhale to release to the mat. Let's inhale cow, exhale cat. Come back to your tabletop and on an inhale, stretch the left leg out long. Exhale to bend the knee and then continue breathing as you make your circles in one direction. Keeping a nice flat back here, keeping your focal point down at the earth. And then reverse the circles. Inhale, the left leg out long. Exhale to release. Inhale, cow. Exhale all the way back to child's pose. Take the forehead to a block or to your mat. Stretch the arms out long. And then let's give the hands a break and sweep the palms down the mat alongside the caps calves and then switch the palms up to the sky 
Coming into a little snail position here. You can make some circles with the forehead on the block or the mat that you're resting it on in one direction. And then in the other. And then let's roll up one vertebrae at a time coming into hero's pose. Stay here for a breath and then swing your legs out to right or left because we're going to come to our seat or you can cross the ankles behind you and roll the seat back behind the ankles coming into your seat that way. Let's go ahead and bring the soles of the feet to the mat, bend the knees, point it up towards the sky. Maybe come towards the front of your mat to give yourself plenty of room back here because we're going to come down to the back. So let's inhale, lifting the heart, drawing the shoulder blades away, tucking that chin. And as you exhale, start to place one vertebrae at a time, super duper slow, engaging that core down on the mat. As slow as you can, as controlled as you can until you just can't control it anymore. And when that happens, go ahead and roll to the back and let the knees lift and come into the chest. Maybe rock a little bit gently from side to side. You can rotate the ankles here in one direction and then the other. And then let's make some circles with the knees here. So let's cup the knees and the palms. Inhale, let the elbows come straight and let the heels come towards the sit bones. Feet are soft here. And as you exhale, bend the elbows and draw the knees in towards the collarbones. Inhale to let the knees come away. Exhale to draw the knees inward. And this time as we inhale and let the knees come away, as we exhale, let's begin making the circles through the right side body and back to center. And then inhale through the left side body and away. Making big circles with both knees in one direction and then the other. But first we're in this first direction. I want you to really notice the contact of the mat on your back, on your hip, maybe down around your tailbone as you come around. And the next time you exhale the knees in towards the collarbones, go ahead and switch the directions of the circles, keeping the knees together, keeping the uh, feet soft, keeping that chin tucked and keeping those shoulders anchored down to the mat. And just notice, this is a little yogi massage here that you can give yourself any time. And the next time you exhale to bring the knees in, that's the last time. Go ahead and draw the nose up to the knees. We're going to realign the spine, realign the hips and the neck here. And then same thing, cupping the knees, inhale the arms out long. And this time we're going to rotate independently. So go ahead and draw both knees out to the sides. As you exhale, draw them up towards the armpits and in towards center. Inhale, the arms and the knees out long and open towards the sides and then exhale up and in towards center. Always keeping these circles as big or as small as feels good in your body. Not pushing beyond your comfort as far as you don't want to have any pain here but maybe be willing to go a little beyond awkward. And the next time you inhale the knees out long, exhale to draw them in towards the collarbones together, and then inhale the knees out towards the armpits and away, and then back into center with the arms long. 
exhale back to collarbones, reversing those circles. Finding a little independent movement here. And then back to center, hug the knees in, draw the nose towards the knees, and you can either roll to one side or the other here, or you can make different kind of circles and kind of rock a little bit up and down the spine. So using a little momentum here, just rock up and down the spine, getting a little massage in the back before we come back to a nice tall seat. <sighs> Let's inhale the arms out to the sides and up alongside the ears. Bring the palms together and down to the heart. I hope you found a little bit of relief and um, some enjoyment maybe in this video today. And as always, I hope you find peace in your thoughts, have peace in your words, and peace in your heart. Namaste.